Tri-Staters are a generous group, and tonight many people are asking how they can help the victims of the Dayton area tornadoes. Consumer reporter John Matteries joins us with where you can donate. John. Well, Kristen, it was just after daybreak when those first images started coming in from Chopper 9 that 9 on your side viewers started contacting us asking how they can assist the tornado victims. So we found the best ways to help and how not to help those hit hardest in the Dayton area. Like many people, Dory Sharp saw the news and heard the call. Terrible, terrible. The Blue Ash woman knows people living in the tornado zone, so she decided to donate what she could here at Matthew 25 Ministries. I brought a bunch of clothes and some dishes and uh, pots and pans. And Matthew 25 seen an immediate uptick in donations from people like Anna Lurhart, who just wants to help. Very distressing. People are going through a very hard time. So maybe this will help just a little. So what kind of items are they looking for? Well, here's some Similac baby formula that somebody brought. Also diapers, non-perishable canned food, and of course anything that can be used in the cleanup. That could include personal care items, cleaning supplies, first aid items, clean up supplies. We're asking for tools and things like shovels. And Organizations taking donations include Matthew 25 and Blue Ash, the American Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and Kingswell Seminary in Middletown. But as tempting as it might be to bring supplies yourself, don't do it. We have a lot of first responders up there. A lot of roads are still blocked. So first thing we suggest is not to self-deploy. Nick Crossley, director of Hamilton County Emergency Management, suggests making a monetary donation, then watching the cleanup on the news.